yarning friends. This is Stephanie Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me today, Sunday, March 28th, 2021. This is episode number 35. This is a crochet podcast where I take you on my yarning adventure and share with you the shenanigans I got into this past week. So grab your favorite beverage, prop those feet up, and hopefully you find some sort of inspiration with what I have to share with you. So I have no finished objects this week. No. That's okay. I did have one week where I did have a couple, so that's pretty exciting, but I have a lot of big projects going on. So maybe next next week I should. Next week I should, and I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Um, I've been busy this past week. Christy and I have been making great plans. Um, Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy. Her and I have lots of plans coming your guys' way. Um, we did a no filter fiber cast the other day. Um, it was a lot of fun, had a good time doing it. We have plans for more and they're just getting better and better, um, with each one because we're still trying to figure out things and work out the bugs. So we are getting there. Um, I enjoy doing it with her. It's definitely different. So I have things going on with that. Her and I have an announcement this week, um, for the next make along that her and I are doing pretty excited about that. Um, so I need to get some of these things off my hook so I can focus on that as well, too. Very excited about what's to come. So definitely check that out this week. Um, so what did I work on this week? Well, let me share with you. The first one is my um, corner to corner blanket. You guys have seen this for the past couple weeks. I really need to get this done and off my hooks um, into its new home. Definitely, definitely, definitely. This is super soft. I enjoy working on this. Um, so I think the last time I showed you, I just had a little bit of the corner of the terracotta rose. Um, and then I have attached to white and started going... I finished the full, like how big I want the white square to be. So yes, it's definitely going to be a good size. And then I'm going to do a stripe in this terracotta rose. And then the last stripe is going to be in this white again. So I need to get this done because the person that wants it's been waiting for it long enough. I don't like making people wait. Um, that's what's hard with custom orders when they come at me. I'm wanting something and I have a lot going on. Um, I'm trying not to do custom orders anymore. Um, simply because, like I said, I have a lot going on and I just don't like making people wait so long for something, you know, I just want to get it done and get it to them. So I really would like to focus on this this week and get it done. Um, like I said, it's a corner to corner. Um, the yarn I'm using for it is Bernat Baby Velvet and Terracotta Rose. There is... Uh, 492 yards and it's 100% polyester and for the white stripe I'm using Bernat Velvet which is also 100% polyester 315 yards I should have enough to finish out that stripe if not it'll be close I do have some from another skein left over and then another full skein so I should have enough to work out this blanket um, maybe with a little bit left over I'm sure I can come up with something for that so that, hopefully next week, you guys will see a lot of progress on um, <clears throat> to finish that off and get that off my hooks. The next item that I paid a lot of attention to this week is my Tree of Life uh, pattern that I got from LionBrand.com. Um, sorry about the scribbles. My daughter did that a couple years ago. I pulled this out. Um, this got pushed to the back burner because... Um, just life happenings, orders, requests, stuff like that. So it got pushed to the back burner because it's something I wanted to make. Um, I pulled it out because of um, Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy and Kim from the Crafty Nomad. They're doing a, it's a wrap make along um, where you pull out those old whips. And I was like, this is perfect because I have quite a few old whips that I really need to, um, finish up the ones I really want to finish. And so I pulled this out. This is, I believe one of my oldest whips. Um, I'd have to look at my whip stash again to see if this is the case. 
I just love this color, this yarn, this pattern, everything about this brings me joy to work on them. I, I really do enjoy it. Um, I started this in January 2019 and I didn't realize it was that long ago. I thought it was last year, but it just shows you how fast time flies, right? So yes, I'm at the tops of the trees. Here's my stitch marker where I was last time. Um, so quite, quite a bit of progress. I'm at the tops of the trees. Um, see, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but it is, it really is because it's a lot of counting, small counting and making sure you're in the right stitch because, um, it could throw off your trees if you're not. Um, as far as the border, I was glancing at the border last night. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the border that they have recommended or if I want to do something else. I haven't decided that yet. Um, I'm going to finish it off and take a look at it and see see what's what I feel it should be they have a more um, detailed border that kind of gives it a uh, a ripple effect um, I like it but I'm not sure if that's what I want to go with um, I don't know yet like I said we'll see about that um, but yes I love it good size it's a nice um right now it's probably about to my it's more of a lap gan um more of a decorative blanket than anything else um this yarn is very nice actually the yarn i'm using is the pound of love by lion brand um in the colorway claret it's a four medium and it's a hundred percent premium acrylic and there's 1020 yards. Now I'm almost done with, I have one ball in it already and I'm almost done with the second ball. Um, I'm probably gonna have to dig into the third ball for at least the border, but we'll see. Um, I only have a few rows of the trees left, five rows of the trees left. And then it's onto the border. So my goal is to have that done by the end of the month, which is in a few days. What, Wednesday's the end of the month? So I want to work on that. So between the Tree of Life blanket and my Corner to Corner blanket, they're going to get my main attention this week um, to get some of these big projects off my hooks. Because like I said, me and Christy have some plans and some things going on with that um, that I really need to pay attention to for that as well too. Although... I did start something new, um, small, it's a small item. Um, so I've been on this known kick, kick lately. So Christy and I from Crochet Creations by Christy did a, uh, luck of the gnome. No, we did 12 days of gnomes at Christmas time. We did luck of the gnomes for St. Patrick's day. And I'm just all into these gnome things lately. So I decided to start a, another gnome. Here's this body. I just did a um, circle increase to get to the stitches that I want. I think I'm at like 54 or 56 or something like that. Um, this is going to be his body. The yarn for that is Red Heart Super Saver in Charcoal. Um, I have some plans, some ideas for these gnomes, and I can't wait to show you guys um, what comes of that. Um, embellishments, and it's going to involve some hot glue and stuff like that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, now for the hat of the gnome, I haven't decided which yarn to do yet. I'm torn between two. So I was thinking about this very bright green. I'm thinking spring and summer colors. I bought this yarn when Christy and I made our gnomes for the 12 days of gnomes. And this was my Grinch gnome <clears throat> that I made. And this is not a color I typically use. Um, I'm not a bright color kind of person. So what am I going to do with this skinny arm? I'm not sure. So I was like, maybe I can use it for the hat of the gnome and um, with some spring embellishments and stuff. This is, I love this yarn in key lime, but I'm also considering doing this. This is very spring like to me too. Um, this is mandala ombre and the colorway tranquil. And this is how the colors work up. 
So I wanted to make a boy and girl gnome. And I'm like, well, I can just let the colors run through for the hat. Let them be where they will be. They will match. Um, but I'm not sure because I think this green would be nice too for a spring-like gnome. I'm torn. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll do both. I don't know. So here's the body. And then here's the yarn. So I'm not sure. Tell me what you guys think I should do first. I'll probably end up doing both. I'll be honest with you. I'll probably end up doing both. But I'm not sure which one to do first. So tell me what you think. Green or mandala? Because I'm torn on what to do first. So that's all I've been working on this week. Not, huh? I am making progress on things. Less things, more progress instead of lots of things, little progress. So trying to get some, some whips out of my way and off my hook so I can move on to more fun things. Now, I do need to start something soon. Um, if you guys remember my episode from last week, I finished Mr. Purrs a lot um, in this color. Now, my daughter is... She likes it. I said that um, it's going to be for my daughter. She likes it, but she's, she, it made her happy, but she's like, can I have a different color? I said, yes, that's fine because this is a really easy pattern. So she requested a different color. That's fine. So not a big deal. Um, this cat, Mr. Purrs a lot was made for the attack of the Amigurumi 2021 that I'm doing on my Facebook group. It's a year long, um, make along every month. I announce a new theme for that month. You have that month to make it. The items must be made in that month. So January was unicorns. February was, um, polar bears, um, picked by my daughter. March is household pets and I'm enjoying seeing everybody's household pets. Um, such cute things going on. Um, and mine was this cat, Mr. Purrs a lot. So like I said, my daughter likes it, but she's requesting a new color. That is fine. And the, so I, I asked her, I said, what color do you want? And she said, I want a purple cat, mom. Okay then. I haven't started it yet, but she saw this and she's like, can I have a cat made in that? Yes. Yes, you can. This is Big Twist Classic. I'm loving this yarn. This halo is just crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the halo on this is just, it's going to be a cute cat. Let me tell you. Uh, this is the colorway Purple Multi. And there are 420 yards in this. The one I used for Mr. Purrs a lot, there was 328 yards and I didn't use the whole, the whole skein. So I definitely won't need all this. So she wants the cat done in purple and then she wants the ears, the tail, and the nose done in solid purple. So I'll, I'll be pairing that up with, <clears throat> excuse me, a purple I can find in my stash. So that's going to be the next cat. I got to get that on. And, you know, I got to next month is coming up quickly so i got to get that going as well too for next month's so the pattern i use for that is mr purrs a lot it can be found on etsy i'll be sure to link it down below um i was hoping to have that cat started this week but i just did, didn't get to it um the pattern is by chronically crocheting i believe her name is crystal so with that being said you have until wednesday night to get your household pets in um, and entered for a chance to win a, a skein of puzzle yarn in the colorway crossword. This is what I made my other cat out of. Um, it's 328 yards, 100% acrylic, and it's a five bulky. And then one of my, see the, I'm sorry, the skein is perfectly new, it's perfectly fine, but I keep getting it out to show you guys. And then there's one of my stitch markers on there as well, too. So, let's see. 
April 1st is Thursday. So I will be probably doing the drawing then for that. Um, for those that have participated in every single month, you're going to get entered at the end of the year into a big drawing for a chance to win a large prize, which has not been completed yet on what I'm going to put in there. Um, for those that have participated every single month um, of the year in this Attack of the Amigurumi 2021. Um, so, yes, thank you so much for participating. Now, what's next? What's next month? Well, since April 1st is on a Thursday, I'm going to announce what April's is today simply because well, it's not easy for me to record videos during the week. So, what is next month? Next month is going to be Birds and the Bees. So, what I do have my pattern picked out, I'm going to make it out of this book here. This is Crochet Cute Critters by Rep um, Rep Repeat Crafter Me. Um, she has a bee in here. I'm going to make a bee. There's a bird in here too, but I'm going to do the bee first. Uh, let me find it. There's an animal in here for every letter of the alphabet. So that's a queen bee that I'm going to make um, for that month. And then hopefully I can get into the bird, which is called, there she is. This is called Nina the Nightingale. So hopefully I get a chance to do that as well too. If not, the bee, the bees first. So because like I said, I gotta make another cat. Um, what can you win for April? Well, you can win two skeins of Red Heart with Love in the color papaya. And each skein, there is 315 yards, and it's a four medium, and it's 100% acrylic. And then one of my stitch markers. So, um, the post for that probably won't go up till Thursday, but you guys know today. So you can start looking for your patterns, pulling out your yarn, and maybe get, even getting started. So... There's going to be a new post for that. In the original announcement of the Attack of the Amigurumi 2021, that's where you can post your um, pattern ideas, um, requests for suggestions, yarns, stuff in progress, stuff like that. In the announcement of the month, like for March is the Household Pets, that's where you want to post your finished items. And then the same for April when, it, when that post goes up. Um, so... Definitely cannot wait to see what comes up next month. The birds and the bees. Very excited about that. Very spring-like. The weather's starting to change. Um, so we're getting into the spring mode here with household projects and stuff like that. So definitely very fitting for April. And yeah, that's all I have. Like I said, I just need to work on certain projects to get them off my hooks. Um, so I'm trying to do more progress on less projects. Um, and hopefully there'll be some finishes next week and I can get back off of Whip Island. I didn't get too far away, but that's okay. In the end, you know, it's the joy of working on um, these projects with yarn and stuff. That, you know, that's what makes me happy in the end. Um, so thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you all have a fabulous week. Look out for me and Christy's next episode of No Filter Fibercast. Um, that was a lot of fun to make and I can't wait for the next ones. We're going to do an announcement, um, this week for our next one. So that's our next make along. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun and yes, I hope you have a fabulous week and remember to keep that yarn running through those fingers and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.